Today we're going to look at a very simple concept, but one that's confused very often. We're going to look at Avogadro's number and moles. Now Avogadro's number, just like any other number, is simply a number, but it's a very large number. More specifically, it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23. So it's a very, very big number. Now Avogadro number is usually used in relation with moles. Now a mole, which is represented by lowercase n, is a group that consists of an Avogadro's number of anything. Now in, the <coughs> now in the same way that a dozen represents a group of 12, a mole represents a group of this many things. Now we could have a dozen roses, a dozen eggs, a dozen chickens, a dozen chairs, cars, books, uh, people. In the same way we can have a mole of anything. Now the only thing is a mole is usually used for very small things. For example, we can talk about a mole of protons, a mole of electrons, a mole of atoms, a mole of molecules because these things are very very small. It usually doesn't make sense to say a mole of people because that's impossible. We can't have a mole of people because we only have uh, 7 billion people in the world. So moles are used for very small quantities of something. For, for, uh, for example, we can talk about a mole of atoms which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms but we can't really or it doesn't make sense to talk about a mole of books or a mole of eggs because I don't think we have this many eggs in the world. Maybe we do but it's just a very sm uh, large number. Now moles and Avogadro's number can be used to answer the following questions. For example, how many molecules of water are in 20 grams of water? Now, to answer this question, we have to first figure out how many moles are in 20 grams of water, and then we multiply that by our Avogadro's number, uh, remembering that one mole uh, of anything is this many atoms or molecules in our case. Now let's take our amount in grams of water and divide it by our molecular weight of water which we can find on the periodic table which is 18 grams per mole. The way we found that is we simply added up the atomic weight of oxygen plus two atomic weights of H because we have two H atoms. So 16 for oxygen and two times one for H2 gives us 18 grams per mole for a single water molecule. So 20 grams of water divided by 18 grams per mole, we see that the grams cancel, the moles go on top, and we get 1.11 moles of water. So this means within our 20 grams of water, there are 1.11 moles of water. Now we know that in one mole of anything, there are this many molecules. So to find the number of molecules in 1.11 moles of water, we simply multiply this number by Avogadro's number. So we get 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms, or actually in our case, this should be molecules. molecules per mole times 1.11 moles of water. So the moles cancel and we're left with 6.68 times 10 to 23 molecules of water. So this is how many molecules are found in 20 grams of water. Now suppose I ask the question how many atoms are found in 20 grams of water. Well, that means we take this number and multiply it by 3. Why? Well, this is a molecule, but an atom represents a single atom within this molecule. So we have one atom, two, three atoms, one oxygen, and two H atoms. So we have three atoms. So we take this number and multiply it by 3 to find the amount of atoms found as 20 grams of water.